Donald Trump supporters are slamming Kamala Harris for her Saturday Night Live sketch. After the vice president, 60, made a surprise appearance on the Saturday, November 2nd, episode of the comedy show ahead of the election alongside Maya Rudolph, fans of the right-wing leader, 78, claimed she copied Trump's 2015 skit with Jimmy Fallon. In the scene, the bridesmaid's actress, who portrays Harris, sits in front of a mirror to give herself a pep talk while the real-life politician suddenly appears on the other side. It is nice to see you, Kamala. I am just here to remind you that you have got this. You can do something your opponent cannot do, like open doors, Harris told Rudolph on the other side of the vanity. After the episode aired, Trump's followers were quick to point out the similarities between the sketch and Trump's that he showed up in before the 2016 election. In the scene, Jimmy Fallon played the apprentice alum and helped him prep for the Republican primary debate while sitting across from each other in a mirror. Kamala ripped off the same bit Trump did when he was on Saturday Night Live in 2015. And Trump's was double the length, 1x formerly known as Twitter, user penned. Kamala on SNL can't even be original. Had to plagiarize Trump and his much funnier skit. She's so cringe, a second added. Is there anything she won't copy? A third chimed in. Despite the Republicans' devout followers coming after the former senator, she hasn't held back from roasting Trump and his plans for the country if he's re-elected. He wants a military who will be loyal to him personally, one that will obey his orders even when he tells them to break the law or abandon their oath to the Constitution of the United States, Harris said in a Wednesday, October 23, interview. It is deeply troubling and incredibly dangerous that Donald Trump would invoke Adolf Hitler, she continued. The man who was responsible for the deaths of six million Jews and hundreds of thousands of Americans. This is a window into who Donald Trump really is, the Democratic leader explained. From the people who know him best, from the people who worked with him side by side in the Oval Office and in the Situation Room. And it is clear from John Kelly's words that Donald Trump is someone who, I quote, certainly falls into the general definition of fascist, who in fact vowed to be a dictator on day one and vowed to use the military as his personal militia to carry out his personal and political vendettas.